All right, we're live. Say hello, buddy. Hey, Alex. We're how on, man. How are you? We got we got somebody new to video, Tomas. How are you, buddy? Yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. All right, quick intro. Hello, everybody. My name is Alex Vidal. I am the regional vice president for Coal Banker up here or right here in the middle of the screen here in Dallas, Fort Worth. And today, uh, I'm sitting here with Tomas, and I, and I will tell you something about Tomas. I had lunch with him and his wife and his team. And I left that lunch feeling like I was in Miami. Uh, and I remember talking to you about that, talking about luxury real estate, talking about international buyers. It was a really good time. You ready, man? Ready. All right. So this is Tomas. Tomas really hasn't been on camera. So we're going we're gonna to break him in on the Closer Club today. Tomas, you are one of Dallas's top global luxury realtors. You've recently joined us from having owned your own brokerage, Engel and Bokers, et cetera. Tell the audience a little bit about who you are. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm originally from Mexico City. Uh, been in the Dallas area now for 35, 37 years. Okay. Uh, came up originally to uh, uh, attend college at SMU. Uh, graduated uh, from SMU going into directly into real estate and finance. Wow. And did you go straight into sales? I did not. I, I did some uh, development, uh, you know, did some uh, commercial development and did some residential development. Uh, went into consulting and after that, you know, decided... Uh, to uh, go into uh, you know the the residential side, right. uh, luxury specifically. So what what happened in your career that you said okay development's cool because development's a lot of fun, but you decided to go into the sales side. Well, you know I've always had a love for architecture, a passion for architecture and construction and design, and uh, you know the residential side. Uh, I saw that it was a place where I could use uh, you know my uh, knowledge about architecture and design. Sure. And sales, and and um, you know, I started uh, you know right into that market. You know, I had been living in the area, in Highland Park, University Park area, yeah. you know, for quite some years, and uh, had uh, you know some experience with with uh, uh, the commercial side, but sure. then you know also uh, the residential. So decided to to focus on the residential luxury yeah. side. So how long have you been a real estate? So this is one of the beauties. He asked me, "Do you have questions for me? We're going to kind of add a little bit." I'm like, "We're totally going off the cuff." Uh, something new for the Closer Club over the last five, six, seven episodes, which I'm enjoying a lot more. So I'm using it as a way to get to know my agents as well. Yeah, absolutely. So how long have you been in the business, Altamont? Uh, in real estate in general, 35 years. Okay. Uh, on in the, sales? In the sales side and residential uh, for uh, about uh, 20 years now. 20 years, okay. Yes, sir. So 20 years ago, so uh, what are we, 2020, so 2000, right? Did you go straight into luxury or were you doing... I started out, no, it went straight into luxury. I had been living in, like I say, in the Highland Park area. And uh, that was the, you know, the, the market and that I knew. Okay. Uh, so I started out with Potential uh, back, uh, yeah. that was rock. my first, that was my first uh, brokerage. Yeah. And uh, soon after that, you know, uh, you know, decided to move on to a boutique uh, type firm, you know, with Alibeth Hallman and Associates. Yep. They dominated, you know, that area in the Highland Park uh, and uh, University Park area. And I was one of their top producers, uh, you know, uh, over seven years that I stayed there. Right. So as a new agent, I know some new agents are watching this saying, or any agent for that matter, I want to do luxury real estate, right? Luxury real estate here is different than it is in Miami, but luxury is luxury. If you looked back, what was the one thing or what were some of the things that you did to, because it's hard, like no, yes, you were in real estate, I get it, but you weren't in sales. So right. how were you convincing those luxury sellers and buyers in the beginning to use you, even though you hadn't been, had the sales experience? Yeah, well, you know, the, the, the biggest thing is knowing the, knowing the product and, you know, and, and luxury, you know, architecture, the level of finish out and, uh, you know, the, the way that homes are built. Okay. Uh, where they're located and the amenities that they have, all those elements that give uh, you know a, a, a different or a, you know unique experience, I guess, sure. to the to the homeowner. Uh, knowing that, I mean, I had a background. Uh, I love architecture uh, as a hobby. Uh, have uh, you know uh, several family members that are, that are you know well known architects. Uh, so I grew up with with uh, architecture and and construction design had been also a passion of mine. Uh, so I had that background, uh, and that was one of the things that I could bring. You know, I could understand, you know, what made a property special, and and what gave it value, and that gave me a, a you know a good start uh, to be able to, you know, uh, know uh, you know the you know look at a property sure. and understand what gives it you know special character and value and so on. Okay. Did you? So how much time were you spending educating yourself about 
the market? Were you going to broker open, studying the MLS? When I started, I had lived in the area already for, I guess, uh, you know, about uh, 15 years okay. uh, in the immediate area, you know, where I, where I started working. Uh, so I, I knew uh, the market from that sure. standpoint, you know, having lived in several places, you know, within the park cities, uh, you know, I, I really knew uh, you know the the landscape yeah. uh, really well, so that you know with the uh, knowledge of of the architecture and construction, uh, really gave me a, a leg up uh, uh, cool. in getting started. So you deal with a lot of high net worth individuals from Mexico. I come from Miami, so obviously you know there's a, a lot of high net worth individuals that would invest in Miami, but they're also investing here in Dallas, uh, in Dallas Fort Worth. Uh, I got to make sure I say Dallas Fort Worth. What are they seeing in Dallas? Like what's making them choose Dallas over? I'm sure it's something. Yeah, no, the Dallas, way. Dallas, basically, I mean, the, the biggest thing is, you know, we have a great economy. We're a, a, a business, uh, you know, a, a, a pro business uh, state. Okay. Uh, great employment base. Uh, the Dallas economy, you know, is very diversified. Uh, we have a lot of uh, Fortune 500 companies, a lot of entrepreneurial uh, uh, companies and, yep. and entrepreneurs in, in the area. Uh, you know, it's a stable market, uh, you know, uh, area like Highland Park and University Park. I mean, there's a finite number of, uh, of homes in the sure. area. Uh, so the values are very strong. And, uh, you know, just uh, the way of life and, and uh, the quality of life that we have in the area. Uh, great airport so you can get yeah. to uh, all the, the fun spots, you know, uh, Quick. very quickly and easily, you know, whether you fly commercial or, or private. And uh, it's just very centrally located, uh, very pro-business, and it's just a great uh, place to raise a family or spend some time in. Right. Okay. Now, I want to go back to, to luxury real estate for a minute in terms of how you're marketing it. So you have the Modern Luxury team, right? So right, I said Modern that. Luxury Group. Mo yes. Modern Luxury Group, sorry. Modern Luxury Group. Uh, see, this is when you go live, you may make mistakes. It is what it is. Modern Luxury Group. When someone, a seller goes to hire you, okay? What is it about the modern luxury group? And yes, I know you're sharing this with other realtors, the, the, yeah. the trade secrets, right? But in all in all, like, what are they getting when they hire you that maybe an agent say, you know, I can add that to my, to my toolbox when it comes well, to luxury. You know, I think we, we really bring, uh, you know, a, a, a unique uh, value proposition, you know, okay. to the client. You know, we, uh, first of all, you know, we understand what gives a property value. Uh, we understand how location affects value. We understand, uh, you know, how architecture, design features, the quality of construction, the level of finish out uh, can affect the value of a property. Uh, we uh, also understand how to make a property look its best and how to be able to uh, promote it and market it. Uh, there's a lot of other agents out there that can list a property for sale. Yep. We really go to great lengths to, first of all, understand what makes the property valuable, uh, what uh, the property has to offer that buyers may, may uh, you know, uh, like about the property and how we can highlight those features uh, to get it in front of the right uh, group of people. You know, uh, we really pride ourselves in, in, in uh, being able to market the property, not just listed. Sure. Uh, we, uh, you know, do uh, you know multimedia. Uh, we do video. We do the three D tours. But we really try to make uh, you know highlight the the home at its best and make an emotional connection with a potential buyer. And and the key thing is not only uh, capturing that and communicating it to a potential buyer, but being able to reach more buyers than they would otherwise you know uh, even with some of the best uh, boutique firms in town they tend to you know uh, concentrate on the local buyers sure. and you know granted you know a lot of the buyers do come from the local market but you know nowadays uh, in today's economy and in dallas now uh, you know there's a lot of uh, people coming in from across the country whether sure. the west coast or east coast uh, or uh, internationally from abroad you know we do have a lot of uh, other buyers and what we do uh, better than anybody else is be able to get the property in front of all of those buyers, you know, whether they're local, whether they're, sure. you know, national or even international, uh, getting it in front of them so we can find the best buyer for the property. Well, and I know that you've gone at great lengths with you and Kathy, your wife and the team 
to make connections with brokers in these feeder markets, whether it be Mexico City or whether it be in California or in New York, to where when you get a property, you're able to leverage these connections to, to feed it. Yeah. Now, talk to me about what's if if you let's say your son was getting or your daughter was getting into the business, mm-hmm. okay? And they said, Dad, I want to be a luxury agent. Mm-hmm. What's one piece of advice that you would give them getting into the business? And let's say they weren't here because they'd be working for you if they were here. Let's say they were in Miami. They said, Dad, I'm going into the luxury. Uh, know, the, know the market. Uh, you know, know the product. Understand, uh, you know, what makes a property special. Okay. You know, because, I mean, everybody, anybody can talk about luxury. And, and you know, luxury, not only it uh, has to do with the product, but the way that, uh, you know, you treat people and the <clears throat> level of service that you provide. Uh, so really, you know, look at other other luxury goods and how they're marketed. You know, look at, uh, you know, what your market has to offer and uh, how the people that are going to be potential buyers, you know, what they're expecting uh, from a service standpoint sure. and then also from a product standpoint. Uh, the more you understand uh, what uh, your client may be looking for, the more you can anticipate it. And, and you know, in the, in the luxury market, I think a lot of it is, is that, you know, being yeah. able to understand the product, understand what your client wants, and be able to deliver it in a way that makes it uh, easy for them. Yeah, that's a great point, right? You think of, of and that's a great way to, I have one more question for you, by the way, and then I'll let you off the hook. <laughs> um, but one great way to look at luxury real estate, we're, th- we're talking luxury real estate in, in the actual physical tangible property, but there's this whole other side to it, which is the consumer and how the consumer expects to be communicated with and handled and, and, and worked with in the high net worth basis and, and it's yeah and it's basically you know not only the product like you say but the level of service and then you know being able to anticipate the needs and being able to provide the level of service that they expect and um, you know being able to to really give them an experience make it enjoyable these people you know have uh, don't have a lot of time they're busy they have busy mm-hmm. lifestyles at the same time they need somebody they can trust and uh, you know, developing the trust is is important, and and uh, being able to understand what they're looking for, to to be able to to save them time, and uh, you know, uh, you know, allow them to sure. to find what they want, and 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 uh, make a good buy, or or you know, get the you know what they want for the property. There you go. All right, last question, Tomas. I had every interview with this question, all but one, and I got called out on it by my mentor the one time I didn't do it, so I'm never going to forget it again. A book, podcast, or TED Talk recommendation, either of all those. Uh, there is a book uh, called uh, uh, Luxury Marketing that, okay. that I would recommend, right. you know, and it basically goes into detail as to how uh, luxury marketing is different from traditional marketing. Uh, and uh, it's an interesting read. And it's called luxury marketing. It's called uh, the luxury, you know, the luxury luxury marketing. Okay. And that's specifically to real estate, or just in general? It's in general. It's okay. it's about marketing luxury goods, and cool. and uh, you know, a lot of the the same uh, techniques where are unconventional and kind of go against the grain of uh, mm-hmm. what you would imagine in in, in traditional marketing. Um, you know, that kind of can be applied to, uh, there to you real go. estate. Painless, right? It is. <laughs> Thank you so much. Any, I'm going to go around and turn off the camera. Any parting words for the audience before we go? Uh, no. Uh, if, you have, uh, if you're looking to buy or sell real estate in the Dallas area, make sure to give me a call. There you go.